photography. We had just recorded a tutorial on how to edit uh, or correct jaundice or yellow skin in Photoshop. With this image, this is the before. You can see baby's skin is yellow, a little bit jaundiced compared to his brother here. So we went in and combated that, fixed it super simple in Photoshop. Um, and this is the outcome. So now we're going to go ahead and edit our image or enhance it. Um, so first I'm going to go in and add a little bit of contrast. I usually always like to do that because I shoot in RAW. And my images are less contrasty than I get with JPEG. So I'm going to, oops, let me just show you what I did real quick there. I'm going to click on the half circle and go to levels, or you can select layer, new adjustment layer levels. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of contrast by bringing my mid-tone slider up to about 111. And we'll bring the darks into about 10 as well. Okay, so really just a little bit of brightening and contrast there in that one simple step. And now I'm going to bring up my hue saturation uh, layer. And this is actually one of my favorite ways. You may have seen me do this in another tutorial. I really like to add a soft color to my images. So to do that, I just bring up the saturation quite a bit so we're going to keep that at 40 and now i'm going to change the blending mode and go down to lighten okay and i'm just going to adjust the opacity still it seems a little much let's see let's keep that right around 45 percent okay so notice the before and after i just have a really nice soft color in the image and now we're going to start adding uh, some creamy warmth uh, to this image. So let's go to solid color. And, okay, I chose a nice light peachy color. You can copy the area location I have right here, or you can just go in and select a nice uh, light peachy color on your own. Now I'm going to change the blending mode. Go down to pin light. Okay, and when you use the color fill adjustment layers, a little bit really goes a long way. So we're just going to bring this to 5%. And this brings a little bit of a, a matte uh, haze. Notice how it's really lightening the darks and bringing that nice, soft, creamy, warm feel to it. Okay, so now I'm going to take this layer, I'm going to drag it down to the square with the folded corner to duplicate it, or I could have just went to uh, layer, duplicate layer. Okay, so I'm going to change the blending mode to this new layer to overlay, and I'm going to bring up the opacity a little bit. We're just going to bring that to 10%. So notice the before and the after. I'm lightening and warming the, the highlights and the, the lighter tones in the image. Okay. And next, there's two more steps here. Next, I'm going to warm up the image just a little bit more. Uh, photo filter. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to, next to filter, I'm going to select the second one down, warming filter, LBA. Keep that at 25. Okay, I am going to adjust the overall opacity. I like to take mine down to zero and just work my way up till I find it's working pretty well. I'm gonna keep that right at 50%. Okay, and last I'm gonna add a really nice creamy color fade around the entire image. Okay, so to do that, uh, again, I'm clicking on my half circle. I'm going to go to gradient, okay? Let's go ahead and pick our colors. So uh, right next to gradient, I'm going to click in the box. The bottom left and right dials are your colors. So we don't want black. <laughs> so let's change that first. I'm gonna double click my bottom left dial and you automatically have your color picker tool. I'm gonna pick one of the darker colors on the rug and press okay. Um, double click on the bottom right dial and I'm going to click on one of the lighter colors in the rug uh, and press OK. 
the bottom left dial is your inner color and the bottom right is uh, towards the outside of your what's going to be our little color fade vignette. Okay, now I'm going to take the top right dial and bring it into 16. Um, there's no reason for this. It's just, it, you don't have to bring it into 60. It's just my uh, settings that I like for my vignette. So you can play around with that. I'm going to bring the angle down to 45%. And now we're going to click next to style, select radio, and we're going to reverse it. So there's our color fade. <laughs> I am going to select Dither, it helps lessen the banding, and I'm going to bring the scale up to 120 and press OK. And again, you can go in and adjust the opacity if it's a little bit too strong. I actually really like the dreaminess it's bringing to my image, so I'm going to keep it right around 90. Okay, so let's go in and just group all of these together and see what we had just done to this image. We've got a really nice creamy uh, end effect here. So before we had made any changes, after we had already uh, fixed baby's skin tone, and here's after all of the final enhancements. So really loving it. And um, Thank you guys so much for watching how I edited this uh, newborn image. I really hope it helps with you when you go in and edit your studio or newborn images.